Welcome back to Easy Friday. Now moving on with our live broadcast. Investigating officer in the 3.5 billion shillings Anglo leasing graft case maintains that the signatories to documents relating to Sound Day Corporation did not know much about it. During cross-examination, the investigating officer Ignatius Wekesa told the court that direct procurement was done using a procurement regulations that existed before the 2005 Procurement Act was put in place. Sound Day Corporation was allegedly involved in the modernization of police security equipment and accessories project. During the heated cross-examination of the last prosecution witness is an investigating officer with the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, Ignatius Wekasa. And I am for me, the Yes, Your Honor. Wekesa maintained his first testimony on how one of the companies in the middle of the 3.5 billion shillings Anglo leasing scandal, Sound Day Corporation, was unknown to most government officials, including the ones that had appended their signatures in the documents to the entity in regards to the modernization of police security equipment and accessories project. Right from Wilf Wilfred Kimaland, who was who initiated it, was the BS of internal security in the three. And Margaret Chairman Beach was a BS of Treasuries. And Simon the Sigman, none of them acknowledges that they know the company. No, so they, they were, it, it was existing, yes, but none of them knew what sound it was, what operation was. Have you finished? Yes, you are. We can suffer that all the court that the project was done through direct procurement, and by then there was no procurement act. They used direct procurement in this one, which is allowed. But now direct procurement, according to Kenneth, in his statement, he told us now that they, had, they, were, they used direct procurement, they were supposed to adhere to the guidelines of direct procurement, because direct procurement has also its own uh, procedure. Now, in the case, businessman Rashmi and Deepa Kamani, as well as former government officials Joseph Magari, Joseph Onyonka and Dave Mwangi, are facing charges of conspiracy to defraud the government 3.5 billion shillings in the Anglo leasing contract for modernization of police security equipment and accessories. The hearing of the case that has been in court for almost 17 years continues before Magistrate Felix Combo. Sarafina Roby for Easy Friday.